Hello again, friends. Welcome to another PJ Storytime at Miss Christie's house. Um, the story I wanted to share with you today is a classic folk tale from the United States, and it is called The Wide-Mouthed Frog. There was once a round pond, and it was full of frogs. Not just any frogs, but peeper frogs. Now, I love peeper frogs because when they sing their little peeper frog song, it sounds like they're talking about food. And not just any food, but people food. Green peas. If you listen to the sound of a peeper frog, it sounds like that's what they're trying to say is green peas. Have you ever listened? They go, green peas, green peas, green peas, green peas, green peas. You can try that sound. Let's see if we can sound like peeper frogs together. Let's do that. Green peas, green peas, green peas, green peas. Very good. Well, these little peeper frogs, they lived in their little pond and they sang every night. And everything was wonderful, wonderful, going very well. Except from out of nowhere, something splashed into their pond. A big, giant frog. Bigger than any peeper frog had ever seen. Sploosh! And all the waves went across the pond and every single peeper frog, it scared them so much that they all jumped under the water bloop, 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 until only their little peeper frog eyes were looking out above the water. Hmm. Now all of them did that, except for one little peeper frog over on the edge. That little peeper frog, he was a little different from all the other peeper frogs. He liked new things and as he looked, at that big giant frog that jumped in the water bigger than any peeper frog. He saw it swim, swim, swim to the middle of the pond and climb up, bloop, right in the middle of the fattest lily pad in the middle of the pond. Well, this peeper frog looked and he said, whoa, that is cool. So he swam over and he bloop, popped up on that lily pad along with the big giant frog and he looked up at him and he says, he says, hi. Frog are you and what kind of food do you like? Well, that's a very important question because clearly peeper frogs, they kind of like green peas, right? Well, he wanted to know what that frog liked. That frog looked down at him and that frog said, I'm a bullfrog and I like bread. It was such a big sound. As soon as he made that sound, all the other little peeper frogs who had started to come up out of the water again to see what was going on, it scared them so bad they jumped back into the water. Boop, 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 until just their little froggy eyes were showing above the water again. Well, that one little peeper frog, he thought that was amazing. He looked at that big, giant, wide-mouthed bullfrog and he thought, that's what I want to be. I want to be just like that bullfrog. So he went down, 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 down into his little froggy hole and he sat in his little froggy room and he started to practice. Well, if he wanted to be uh, changed from a peeper frog to a big wide mouth bullfrog, then he would have to, um, he'd, he'd have to first of all change what he liked. He couldn't do um, green peas anymore. He'd have to change it to bread, right? Just like that big bullfrog. So he did that. He started to say that too. He went, Bury it, bury it, bury it, bury it, bury it. That didn't quite sound like the bullfrog, though. Maybe if he made his mouth a little bigger. So he tried that. He tried to mm, 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 stretch his mouth like that. And it got a little better. He said, bread, 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 bread. But he had to try more. So he got his little froggy flipper fingers and he uh, 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 spread his mouth way open wide. And he said, Bread. <laughs> he did it. He swam up to where all the rest of the frogs were. And he said, hey, everybody, guess what? I'm a wide mouth bullfrog now, and I like to eat bread. It was so big and so loud that all the little peeper frogs, they jumped in the water boop, 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 until just their little eyes were showing up out of the water. And that big bullfrog that had first come, he got scared too. He jumped into the water, sploosh, until just his big eyes were hanging out of the water. Well, the little peeper frog, who was now a wide mouth bullfrog, he said, 
I think maybe this little frog pond is getting too little for me. I'm going to go out and I'm going to see what else I can see. He was excited now. He'd learned something new. He wanted to keep learning. So he went hopping out on down the road. Bloop, 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 bloop. Now, eventually he came across an animal he had never seen before. Um, this animal was, um, it was kind of feathery and it had a, it had a yellow mouth that went like this. And it had big floppy feet that were yellow too. And he wasn't sure what it was, but he looked at it. And maybe you can recognize what it is. What do you think it was? That's right, it's a duck. So he looked at that duck and he thought, well, I just may as well ask. He says, hey, what kind of animal are you? And, uh, oh, what do you like to eat? Because you never know, it might be a good sound, right? So that little duck looked down at him and said, I'm a duck, and I like to eat quackers, quackers, quackers. Mmm, quackers. And that little wide mouth bullfrog, who used to be a peeper frog, he got his mouth as big and wide as he said, and he says, Well, I'm a wide mouth bullfrog, and I like to eat bird. <laughs> it was such a big sound, it scared that duck. The duck went, Aah! and he took off flying, flap, 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 flap. And he didn't come back. That wide mouth bullfrog who used to be a peeper frog. He started feeling a little bit too big for his froggy pants. He was a big old frog now. He was the big boss frog now. He'd scared another bullfrog. He'd scared peeper frogs. Whew. He'd even scared a duck. He decided he was going to go see what else was out there. And he started walking bigger. Eventually he came across another animal that he had never seen before. And this animal, it was, um, it was kind of slobbery and it had floppy ears and it had a big old tongue and the tongue went, <laughs> can you guess what kind of animal that was? That's right, a dog. It was a dog. He walked up to that dog, that little wide mouth bullfrog who used to be a peeper frog and he says, hey, what kind of animal are you and what do you like to eat? Because you never know. So the dog looked down at him and he went, <laughs> I'm a dog, <laughs> I'm a big old hound dog, and I like bones, bones, bones. That little wide mouth bullfrog who used to be a peeper frog, he opened his big wide mouth. He said, I'm a wide mouth bullfrog and I like to eat bread. That poor dog was so scared, he went, Mah! And he took off running. Ar, 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 ar. That little wide mouth bullfrog, who used to be a peeper frog, he was feeling even bigger than his britches. He was, he was feeling like he was tough and rough. Man, he was tougher and rougher than any animal he'd seen so far. So he went walking down the road like this. Eventually he came across an animal that was really, really big. He'd never seen one as big as that animal but he looked up at that animal and it was kind of it kind of had horns and it kind of had ears that kind of went out like this and had a bell around its neck and it ate its food like this what kind of animal could that be can you guess and that's right it was a cow and <laughs> wide mouth bullfrog who used to be a peeper frog looked way up at that cow and said hey what kind of animal are you in? what do you like to eat well, that cow looked way down way down way down way down and it said i'm a cow i like to have milk that little wide mouth bullfrog who used to be a peeper frog he looked up at that cow and he squared his little froggy shoulders and he said, Well, I am a wide mouth bullfrog and I like to eat bread. That poor cow took off galloping. Poor cow. But that wide mouth bullfrog, who used to be a peeper frog, oh, 
He was feeling tougher and rougher than any other animal he'd ever seen. He decided to see what else he could find. Yeah. So he went looking and looking and looking until he saw over in the marsh on the side of the road, he saw a, another bird, kind of like the duck, but smaller, but with a bigger mouth. He wanted to go see if he was tougher than that bird. So he flop, 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 hopped right over to that bird and he says, he says, hey bird! And that bird, he looked just like this, looked down at him and said, hi! And that wide mouth bullfrog who used to be a peeper frog said, what kind of bird are you and what do you like to eat? And that bird looked down at him and said, I'm a kingfisher bird, and I like to eat wide mouth bullfrogs, bullfrogs, bullfrogs. That wide mouth bullfrog that used to be a peeper frog was just about to open his big wide mouth. <gasps> when he stopped and he changed his mind, he made his mouth small and he shrunk himself down and he says, oh, well, it's a good thing that I'm not a wide mouth frog. I'm going to go home now. And he hopped boop, 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 all the way back to his pond. Blink. And he wasn't ever quite so big in his britches or his mouth ever again. Because sometimes it's all right to make big sounds and sometimes it's better to keep your mouth quiet. And that is the end of that story. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Bye.